Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen from Gen Tea, a Gen Tea we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. Uh, in this video channel, we share uh, videos about how tea is processed, how to brew tea at home to make that delicious for you, and much much more. So please consider subscribing if you're also a tea lover and hit the notification bell. Well, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, it's a you know freestyle just chit chat video. I just have some inspiration I'd love to share and see if it resonates with you. So since last year we started to make a homemade syrup, maple syrup. And uh, after all those lengthy process of boiling and um, filtering, when I first taste the maple syrup, oh boy, I was so disappointed. <laughs> we usually get maple syrup from uh, Costco. And uh, you know, I'm used to that maple syrup flavor. And I was expecting my homemade one to be even bolder. However, when I taste the cooled maple syrup, I was like, that tastes nothing like the maple syrup I know. It tastes just like a, a corn syrup. And I was so disappointed. And later on, I had a, by accident, I had a chance to try the maple syrup when it was lukewarm. And that was a, I was shocked. That was a moment of revelation, I would say. I finally taste the beautiful woodiness that I always love. However, it has nothing to do, like it doesn't taste anything like the one that I got from the store. Uh, you know, the store one, the maple syrup flavor is what you would expect from maple syrup flavor from candies and stuff. But this, uh, the one that we made at home, this this woodiness, I would, it reminds me of going to Home Depot's flooring area and uh, uh, those maple floor, those uh, wood slacks that I really stuck my nose up close and smell that, that kind of a dried hardwood uh, woodiness. Like both, if you ask me to describe, I would both use woodiness, but they're wildly different. I think in many of our tasting videos, I keep emphasizing that, that when we use the same word, floral, woody, or mossy, or earthy, it actually means very different. There are quite a depth in that word and quite a difference between different people's understanding of what earthy is. And another thing that strikes me is how maple syrup tastes when it's cool, it's different when it's warm, and when it was boiling, the room smell wasn't woody. <laughs> it was just, you know, sugary, like that sweet sugary smell. It changes according to taste, uh, according to different temperature, which uh, is consistent with my experience with all this kind of a natural tasting elements that like tea, if you taste that uh, when it's a cold, a same tea when it's cold, when it's warm or hot, the elements you can pick out is very different. And it's never one element consistent or strong. Well, you may have that from jasmine green tea because it's jasmine sanded. And that was purposely added. And that's why I wanted to uh, talk about this milk oolong. Because sometimes when you open or sometimes you go to the store and uh, uh, smell some dry leaves of milk oolong, it's booming milkiness and you taste it, you brew it, you taste it, the brew leaf, they're just so overwhelmingly uh, milky. And uh, certain people would say this is all come from the tea and uh, that's just not possible. <laughs> so this milk woolen concept is actually from uh, a Jingxuan cultivar. This is a Taiwanese uh, tea cultivar developed in the 80s. Uh, the signature, the unique character of this tea is when it's lightly oxidized and lightly roasted uh, and brewed in a relatively lower temperature. Through certain infusions, you would have some notes of that light, noticeable light 
milky flavor. Well, key word is light. And when you smell the dry leaves, it's not gonna be overly milky, like so strong you don't barely smell any uh, tea aroma. Uh, same when you brew, different uh, way of a brew, the milkiness, the strong level, everything changes. And that's when we can call naturally from the tea itself. Well, certain milk oolongs, I, you know, it can be natural. Natural flavor is also natural. But when this tea is so overwhelmingly, boldly milky from dry leaf to hot liquor, cold liquor, brewed leaf, you can pretty much sure that it's not just from the tea itself. And same with a lot of, uh, you know, straight up oolong that we have, you, feel, uh, you smell the dry leaf doesn't really translate identical to the brewed liquor or to the hot liquor um, or the gaiwan lid or the cold liquor. There are very, very different um, tasting notes there. And that's kind of the fun of tasting. Well, this is all for today's video. Um, I think this is my first time shooting this kind of a really loose style uh, uh, video. I'm actually very nervous about it. I don't know if you like this form or uh, what's your thought about uh, having more video like this style or what's your thought about my whatever I just said. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment and um, don't forget to subscribe. You if you haven't yet and see you in the next video. Keep steeping!